Hey what's up everybody welcome to our YouTube channel Any Technology. In this video I am going to show you how can you create a floating icon like the messenger app. As you can see on your screen we have a floating icon of the messenger app. So now let's create this in Android Studio. Okay so first of all you have to create a layout for this. In my case I have already created a layout. So let me click in here and you can see here. The layout is already created. You don't have to worry about the code. I will provide the code in the description box. So first of all, you have to create this layout. In my case, I have already created. After creating the layout file, now let's go to the coding part. So first of all, you have to create a service class. In my case, I have already created it. So you have to extend it from services and you have to register this class in your manifest file. Let me show you how. In here, you have to paste this code. You can copy it or you can also copy it from the description box. Then you have to provide these two permission in order to run your app. So now let's go to the coding part again. You have to create this window view and a floating view and some layout parameters. Now you have to put this code in order to check if your build version is greater than O. This code help you to run your app in background also. I have already provided the function for this code. You can just copy it from here. Now the next thing you want to do is to connect your layout. So by this way you can collect your layout. And these are some flags which you have to put in order to run your app. These things are used. To move your icon this thing is used to create your view and connect it to the floating view we created earlier this is the cross button we have created to stop the service you can just connect it with your floating view by the find view method and just put a click listener on it now if you want to click on the icon and want to perform certain activity so you have to do this thing your floating view and the ID of that particular thing. In our case, it's a relative layout. By relative layout, I mean if I want to click on this icon and perform a certain activity. So I have to connect it here. You just have to connect this thing here and put a set on touch listener. And put these things initial touch and have to override a method. In override method, you will have to put three cases on action down. On action up and on action move you can put this code as it is but if you want to perform a click listener then you have to put this code and then if x diff smaller than 10 and y diff smaller than 10 by this we mean that particular area where you are going to touch the screen and by touching that we'll perform this action here you can see I will go from that floating service view to our main activity. Now the only thing that is left that we have to run this code. But before running the code, let's call this class in our main activity. So we will do it here. Start service new intent and main activity dot this and floating view dot class and just enter here. After putting this code we have to just run our project let me connect my cell phone our phone is connected and let me run this project now and i will see you on my phone screen i am on my phone screen and the floating widget is working i can drag it and i can move it anywhere on the screen and now if i go back it's still working if i remove the app it's still working and now I just have to click on it and you can see we have directed to our main activity again.